was born on the 15th of June 1933 in Point Pedro, Jaffna. He received his primary education at Saiba Prasaga Vidyal in Point Pedro, Puttur Sri Somaskanda College and Archibald Christian College. He subsequently received his secondary education at Ira College in Colombo. He began his professional career as a teacher and taught at Christ King College Jaila, Sri Kotalavala Vidyal in Ratmalana, Hindu College in Jaffna and Punakari Mahavidyalaya. He entered the political arena in 1959 and passed out as an attorney at law in 1967. In 1965, he was appointed as the chairman of the Kilinochia Village Council and worked for a period of one year from 1968 as a chairman of the Kilinochia Town Council. Anand Sangari was elected to parliament for the first time in 1970 as a candidate of the Old Ceylon Tamil Congress representing the Kilinochia electorate. Anand Sangari, who flew to India in 1983, returned to politics in 2000. In 2001, he entered Parliament representing the Jaffna district. He was also awarded the UNESCO Prize for the promotion of tolerance and non-violence. Under the Sangari's vision is to bring all communities to live together in peace. Today, as it is, my stand is, there is no question of breaking this country into two or three. It should be one Sri Lanka. It should be a united Sri Lanka. In the united Sri Lanka, all the Tamils, Muslims and Sinhalese must live together, enjoying equal rights. That is my stand and I have been campaigning for it. The reason why I am asking for the Indian model is this. You know that word federal has become very allergic to one section of the people. The word unitary also is not allergic to another section of the people. So I thought uh, uh, to satisfy both sections, people who are opposed to federalism and who are, who, people who are opposed to unitary. I found the solution in the Indian constitution. If we adopt the Indian constitution, you know, we can make changes you see, to suit our local condition.